Good evening, everyone. I uh, have a dual purpose for my video this evening. It is uh, August 7th, 2022. And uh, throughout my struggle with uh, pancreatic cancer, I did have uh, a great deal of assistance from many, many great people that I know, both with support of an emotional nature and uh, everything else that goes along with that, as well as uh, financial support, which was a, a huge, huge help to me. And uh, I thank you all, you know who you are, and uh, I, I really appreciate it more than you can imagine. Um, with that being said, I did uh, at one time have a GoFundMe page, and uh, a few very generous friends helped me out there, one in particular, and uh, well, both of them did. And um, what I would like to do now, I've just updated my GoFundMe page because I, as I may have mentioned in a prior video, I have uh, gone on now to, I'm on about month six after my last surgery. I am completely cancer free, full remission and whatnot. So what obviously my, my pursuit here is to uh, move that forward and uh, try to do whatever I can to help uh, other people that find themselves in the situation I was in and uh, a couple other things that uh, I'm very passionate about. Um, with that in mind, I, I would like to uh, direct you to go to the GoFundMe page and uh, here here's what I'm uh, suggesting. I fell victim as many people do when I was much younger to you know hearing about a charity that you know somehow had something to do with uh, my my uh, personal interests and things and what what it always was for me was uh, animal rights and uh, animal welfare and um, trying to help uh, speaking of which here's Basil um, help animals in any way I could and uh, what I, it didn't dawn on me when I was much younger, younger to uh, really do a little research about the charities that you uh, give to. And the reason for that is I, I found out years later and over time that um, when you don't do that, some of these charities are unfortunately not as reputable as you'd like them to be. I'm not going to mention any names here because I want to talk about some really good charities and I want to get to that before I drag on too much. But um, yeah, some of the uh, CEOs of some of these charities are making incredible profit margins and the amount of your dollar donation doesn't actually really get where it needs to go or at times such a small percentage of it does that um, it's really really not good so um, there are several rating programs for charities on uh, line that you can uh, check out and uh, so that's what I did now uh, the first thing I'd like to mention is the Cancer Research Institute uh, this I tried actually to find if Smilo Cancer Center had um, a donation uh, page because that's what I, where I'm personally uh, was involved with and uh, they didn't seem to. So uh, if they do, I would definitely say that they're the, the, the best people ever. But um, for what I could find and what I could verify, the Cancer Research Institute really has got a great rating. Uh, the rating system goes to 100. They have a 95 overall rating. And that is at uh, givecancerresearch.org. Div, I'm sorry, give.cancerresearch.org. And um, I, it just, uh, it's, it's a great way to help uh, future research and new um, treatments for all various types of cancer. Secondly, um, I have spoken about in a few videos, I'm sure, and I will continue to do so. Um, I have seen the devastating results of uh, alcoholism and addiction in my family, my friends, and, and just so many people. And um, 
you know, I'm going to I'm going to say one thing here about um Al-Anon is a uh incredible organization. It's not something that I want to speak about right here or now, but um what I was very wary of with Al-Anon is that the language seemed very uh, religious based, but I can attest that um, it is it is not. It, it is you know Al-Anon was created around I, if I'm not mistaken uh, in the 30s or 40s, sometime around where an Alcoholics Anonymous was, maybe a little bit later, and um, you know the um, we'll say the language sounds as if it is. Uh, of a religious nature, and it was then. Um, I will say that now, um, although the language may be used, the 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 program is definitely for everyone, and it is not trying to exclude anyone. I can see where some people might feel that way, but on another note, it's not really. Um, that's really an organization that is self. Um, pretty much financed and uh, so that's not really an issue but I do recommend it to people who um, have loved ones or family members or both or whatever that uh, you know it can be a really really positive thing so in lieu of that uh, the one that I would suggest is called the Heron Project spelt H-E-R-R-E-N and uh, you can find that at info at heronproject.org and um, it's got a 95 rating out of 100 as well so you know that your donations are going to the correct place. Uh, I have two more really quick ones. Uh, one that I've been giving to for a very long time believe highly in is the Wolf Conservation Center that's um, located in New York State and it's nywolf.org and uh, you can actually go there and uh, see some of the wolves and um, it's it's a, another one that's got a really high rating, 93.5 on the uh, Charity Watch. And lastly, another one I've uh, of my longtime charities is the Blind Cat Rescue. Um, they, it's just a really great pay, place. It's got a 100% uh, rating in Charity Watch. And uh, these the people that help these poor cats that uh, actually can't see are, are really amazing. So um, that is blindcatrescue.com. And uh, those are the charities that I'd like to suggest. And what I wanted to close up with is, um, you know, I am doing my best to try and improve my platform here. If anyone on GoFundMe did want to also give any small amount, anything would be helpful for me to update my computer. Um, because my editing uh, programs will hardly work and uh, you know I could really use that kind of help so I can continue to give help to other people. Uh, as I've told you many times before I want to make this uh, really something that can uh, can really make a difference and uh, I would like to have some fun doing it at the same time but uh, either way um, that's all I have to say for tonight. I wish everyone a good evening be kind to one another whenever you can, which is almost all the time. And always be kind to animals like my good friend Basil here, who I guess is not really that happy about being in the video. But, you know, that's how it goes. So, uh, peace, everybody.